For purposes of our demo today, I'll be using a local account. However, the easiest way is to definitely click on sign in with Microsoft if you have a Microsoft account. Upon logging into the dashboard, you'll notice a few things. The first is your profile picture and what company you're logged into. If you select this dropdown, you'll show your permission level, your tenant information, and you have an option to go to your settings. Under settings, you have the ability to set up your My Profile. You can set up the notifications that you want to receive as a user for both in-app, which will show up under this menu here, or that come to you through email. You have the ability as a tenant administrator to set up the tenant settings. So you can change the logo of your portal to brand it for your company. You can change your color scheme so that the colors and all the menus and buttons change to match your color scheme. And if you have any additional domains, you'll have the ability to claim those domains uh, as a tenant administrator. Under locations, this is going to pull in the information that we have about you and your company with the locations that you have. Uh, if there are any needs to change here, we can show you how to open a, a service request to do that. Under tenant users, this is going to show your users that are supported in your system along with what role that they have. You have the ability to edit users as a tenant administrator. So if I want to edit this user, I would have the ability to change their role to a different level as long as I have a higher level in the role permissions than they do. Under Manage Requests, you'll be able to see any users that have requested access to your portal. And under Integrations, you'll be able to access the integrations like the Microsoft integration in order to set up your Microsoft Office 365 integration to the marketplace. From the top dashboard, you will have two cards. The first is an account team that pulls in your account team. And the second is an issues and incidents and a requests cards. And this will show all tickets related to your account for issues and requests. On the left hand side, you have a hamburger menu that shows all of the modules that you have access to. On the main dashboard page, you have the ability to edit your dashboard to your liking. Today there are just three cards available, but there'll be more cards added continuously as the portal develops. You can move them around however you'd like. When done, click Done Editing. 